the heart of the Caribbean, where sun-soaked beaches meet bustling city life, this time of year Jamaicans face a revolving challenge, managing their energy bills. Nowadays, the electricity is mostly um, committed to cooling, um, or you could say running motors. So during the summer months, there is a lot more need for cooling ourselves. Um, so running fans, running AC, and there's a lot more thirst for water. They want their lawns to be maintained, they want their crops um, to stay healthy, so we use a lot more water also. As temperatures soar, so do electricity expenses, leaving households searching for solutions. Here are some practical tips and considerations to help navigate through the heat without burning through your budget. Many young people are not at school, and so the homes are more occupied in the summer generally. So we need to kind of encourage our culture of going outside more. And somebody may say, but outside is hot. But we have to find ways of enjoying the outdoors and not always be inside. Because when you're inside, usually what are the young people doing? Watching TV um, or on a laptop or, or so forth. And all those things will contribute to higher energy. And of course, you have to keep the room that you're in cool and, and sometimes that's not properly managed. It's vital to unplug idle electronics as many off devices still sip power. We think that because you, you press the off button that your device, your appliance is not using power. But these days you have a lot of smart devices that have to, to stay alive pretty much even though you have turned it off and that will, will use power. And it may seem like a little bit of power, but uh, we say one one cocoa full basket. So a lot of these devices all combined together can cause your power to go up, your power consumption to go up. Strategic planting can cool your home, though hurricane concerns must be considered. We can't say you should always have trees because there's also the concern of hurricane season. The hurricane season coincides with the summer, right? The hottest time. So we have to in a very careful way, see how we can use vegetation in a way that can help in cooling the, the environment of your home or around your home, but at the same time doesn't increase the hazards that will come because of the hurricane season. Choosing between airy linen and sweat absorbing cotton can also boost the summer comfort. So linen is a very light fabric and it's very airy especially in, in a drier climate, not very humid climate, it's very comfortable. Even in, in a hot environment, it can still feel comfortable. Cotton is the other one, and cotton is one that will absorb the sweat from your body, and then the sweat will then evaporate from the cotton fiber. And when it does, it actually makes you feel a lot cooler, almost like a natural air condition you can isolate your movement in your home. So if you have to be indoors, stay in a certain room, keep that room cool. You don't have to keep the whole house cool. Or if you, if you have to go from room to room, you can change the temperature to a, something that you can tolerate. By focusing on key areas and making smart choices, you can create a cooler and more comfortable living space. They can ensure that on those south-facing wall, east-facing wall, and your west-facing wall, that you use thicker curtains at your windows. Another thing to do is that if they can apply a reflective coating, like a film or even a tint on the windows, and they might be able to, to exploit that strategy, ensuring that you're not using a unit to cool a space that it is not sized for. Some people might choose to only have an air conditioning installed for the bedrooms. Don't try to use it to cool the bedroom and the living room and the kitchen and all the other and the entire house. Innovative technologies are also on the market, offering new ways to manage energy usage and costs effectively. These days, these include smart devices that have timers on them which you can schedule them to turn on and turn off. Um, devices, occupancy sensors, for example, that can see when somebody's in a room and turn on. And there may be even more 
sophisticated ones that can sense how many people are in the room. Managing energy bills during the summer is essential for staying cool and cost effective. Next time the summer heat feels overwhelming, remember these tips to keep your energy usage in check. Thank you.